marvelous family. Is it the marvelous inspiration or the marvelous family? <laughs> <laughs> you can call us the marvelous family. We can call Our us channel is marvelous inspiration. Marvelous inspiration. So, yeah. what is the secret behind, or what's the inspiration behind marvelous inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> So. Yeah, Marvelous Inspiration uh, is a YouTube channel uh, to promote family uh, happiness, family peace, family love, to see that families are together wow. in peace and in unity. So it's all about uh, inspiration, inspiring, inspiring families. families to be Both happy. people that are married and unmarried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say? The same, you've said it all. To inspire family, both people that are married uh, and unmarried, so just to I'll, make them I'll, happy. I'll subscribe because I want to get married soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> you know, both of you are Nigerian. I'm so sorry. Eh? Sorry, sorry. I was just talking to your parents. Anyway, my name is Wadamaya. Can you tell me your name? My name is Destiny Marvelous. Destiny? Yes. Marvelous. Yes. What about you? I'm Glyde Marvelous. Delight, Destiny Delight, and whatever. Don't tell me your name is D, start with D. What's your name? Ah. <laughs> what about you? Dominion Joshua Marvelous. Dominion. Dominion Joshua. So the four Ds. Four Ds, eh? Yes. yes. <laughs> Destiny, Delight, Divine, and Dominion. Dominion jo what Joshua Anointed. Me, love it, Marvelous. Mrs. Marvelous. Uh, Mrs. <laughs> I'm not going to have to. <laughs> I am Mrs. Mm -hmm. Marvelous. Capital Love Lita. it. Uh -huh. My own name is Love it. Then Marvelous. Medawasi. <laughs> you are a Nigerian family yeah. living in Ghana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But let's forget about you living in Ghana. Yeah. I really want to know your story. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Who are you? Yeah, uh, by the grace of God, my name is uh, Marvelous. Mm -hmm. And uh, beside me are my family members. And um, we are Nigerians now living in Ghana. And like, you can call us young couples. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, at the same, at the same time we, we, we are blessed with four children, as you can see. Wow. Uh, yes, uh, our marriage uh, is like... Uh, from above, from heaven. <laughs> Sorry, let me know. Which year did both of you get married? 1998. The, okay, we met 1998, but we got married 2002. You look so young, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 1998 and got married 2002. 2002. What happened between 1998 and 2002? Uh, we're, we're very close friends. Okay. Like brothers and sisters. Oh, wow. Like real and close in friends. Christ? Yeah. In Christ. <laughs> All together. Put it together. All together. All together. <laughs> Very close friend. And then I was still in my high school. Wow. Mm -hmm. My high school. Uh, he just finished his own. So me, I was in high school. So it was like a senior brother I was looking at. So suddenly, Mr. now Mr. Mr. Senior yeah. <laughs> Mr. Senior let, me, let me tell the story very well. <laughs> you know, she was this uh, uh, young girl, you know, I, I used to see her like enter bus in front of our shop then in Lagos and then um, people were like looking at her but she was still small then. And then to get close to her, I, I, I tried to talk to her. I found out that the girl I was even dating that time was in her school. Oh, wow. You understand? So I just told her that I want her to be sending me, uh, sending message, helping, you to helping send me to deliver message to the girl. Deliver? There was no phone. You know how? No, no. Those that, those days there was. Boys. Yes, you understand. Write so your letters. Yes. Yeah, so, so when I write those fine love letters, you know how we used to write those letters. <laughs> so I wait for her to come. I will give it to her. She will go and deliver the letter to the girl. But each time she comes, I found out that my friends they were like admiring her. So I was like, what are they seeing in this small girl? You understand? And I stopped sending her there. And, and I start trying to understand what, <laughs> what my friends they were admiring. So that was how come now we now became friends. I stopped sending her the, letter. the letters. Now we now became so friends. Instead yeah. of you sending the letters, you send the I letter was now sending the letter directly. <laughs> <laughs> end up in Ivory Coast? Yes. Um, after, within a short period that we met, you know, we started getting uh, close to each other 
And then um, before you know it, uh, my in-law then uh, arranged for my travel, you know. So I didn't even tell her I was traveling because we were too close, you know, but I left, you know, according to people, when she heard that uh, I, I traveled, you know, she fainted in our street. Really? Yes. yes. You know? fainted. She yes. fainted. Yes. It was a shock because I was with him. We were together the night to the day he was to travel and he did not I tell me. He never mentioned I was any of that I was traveling because we are too close. You know? Where were you traveling to? I was traveling then to Italy. He was going what to Italy. You know? I was traveling to Italy. So now they say she fainted and that, was, that attracted the attention of my parents to really know who is this person that had to faint for my child, you understand? So that was how it came. But then I, I've already, uh, I've, I'm already off to Europe. Uh, but then unfortunately, when I get to, the, the flight was from Lagos to uh, uh, Cairo, Egypt, from Egypt oh. to Italy. But unfortunately, when I get to Cairo, they deported me back to Nigeria. <laughs> they deported you? Yes, I was deported. Why? Ah, that they were talking about something that has to do with document, traveling document, you know, so they had to bundle me back to wow. Nigeria. You know, when they deported me, I was like, maybe because I didn't tell her I was traveling. That's why they deported me. Yes, they deported me. My spirit brought me back. <laughs> you know, so I spent um, like two, three days, you know, I couldn't stay in our family house. Because everybody then knew I already traveled. So I had to go and hide somewhere. I hide somewhere for for some time before now they now took me to Abidjan because they said I don't need to travel from Nigeria airport again so I had to now go through Abidjan you know so all this while I didn't even see her I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want to explain anything to her I was just trying to you know look for my future you know I was still small then I was 24 years then I think so so when I got to Ivory Coast now I made the second attempt again that one I was from Ivory Coast to Lisbon Portugal Lisbon to uh, Torino it was a connecting uh, flight, you know. Then when I got to Lisbon too, we were four on that trip. Three people entered, and I was also deported. <laughs> <laughs> For the second time, I was so frustrated, I wanted to even commit suicide then. Wow. Yes, because I couldn't call anybody. I was left, I was, I was like, the world was crumbling, you know. So... I was deported. But the worst part of it was that they deported me from Lisbon to Abidjan. When I got to Abidjan, they handed me to Abidjan police. They now, uh, Abidjan police now uh, dumped me again at the police cell in Ivory Coast. Were you having money when you were in Ivory Coast? That I wasn't having anything. I've, I've, I was just traveling. I was just going to struggle. That was how they deported me back again in Ivory Coast. Let me understand. They deported you to Ivory Coast. Yes. And from Ivory Coast, how did both of you end up meeting again? Okay. Then when they deported me to Ivory Coast, I came out. I was not speaking French then. I you didn't know... You should have called me that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess then you'll be a small one. <laughs> uh, you understand. So I just find myself in Ivory Coast, you know. I, I didn't know anybody, and then I was also thinking about her, you know, you know where, what would she be doing by now, what, I was like, you know. So I was in Ivory Coast, I, I went through a lot in Ivory Coast, but maybe because of her prayers, within one year in Ivory Coast, I was able to gather up myself, you know. So when I started getting money in Ivory Coast, the first thing that came into my mind was her matter, you know. So I quickly flew back to Nigeria. From Nigeria airport, I started searching for her. I went for her house. They said they have packed her from the house. I went to her sister's shop. The sister was no more in the shop. I was running up and down looking for her, but I couldn't find her. So now I was, I was, I was almost frustrated. I was, I want, I was, I, I thought I gave up. I gave up, you know. But then in Ivory Coast, in uh, in Lagos, I went to buy a car. Then, that was 190 then. So when I bought the car, I wanted to go and test the car. <laughs> I wanted to go and test the car, maybe just to drive to check the car. You know, she too. I came out to buy mango. She came out to buy mango. Yes, I was just in my house. So I just feel like I want to eat mango. Mm -hmm. So I came out to buy mango. So where I was buying mango, he said he drove, he passed. We've not seen now like two years. He passed and he saw the person from back. 
it like and something that place, in, was a, that, that place is normally busy very busy very busy road ikeja so very busy ikeja, ikeja bus, stop. bus stop in lagos yes. very busy mm. so he passed he said when he passed then i just heard love it he calls me lovey so i heard lovey ah. when i turn it was him when I saw him, instead of me to run, I, I fainted again. <laughs> <laughs> At the bus stop, everybody, everybody gathered. It's as if we are acting. I gathered. fainted. People they gathered. rushed. They kept pouring me water. Like, I can't believe I was seeing him. Mm -hmm. After I've given up that I will not see him. I was just like, oh, he has we really hurt me. The only me. friend, the only, like, as if my work. Has ended. <laughs> so you were supposed to go back to Ivory Coast. I was supposed to go back to Ivory Coast then because I just came to like to show that I have arrived. You know, as a small boy. <laughs> as a small boy. No, not from Europe. No, no, no. Another African. Yes, I yes. want to let them know that at least Africa is also a good place. Exactly. You understand? You know, so I wanted to show people that I have arrived, you know, not knowing that um, I, I would find her again. So it was a very great uh, opportunity for us to meet again. Yeah. And that was the first time I heard a voice that told me that this is your wife. Wow. So w w at the end of the day, we caused a lot of traffic that day because I, I was driving. So a lot of people, they he were He has to morning, pack his car too and, and cross. You know, a lot of things, people were asking, oh, what's going on? <laughs> so at the end of the day, we were able to re reunite, you understand? <laughs> You know, so that was how... And that it, was the year... That was the year I now told her, how are we going to do Because I'm going back to Ivory Coast. She said, ah, me, I'm not going home. Me, I told her, me too, I don't want to go. But we can't stay here. We have to do something, you know. So I told her, do you know what we're, what we're going to do now? I'm going to prepare your international passport. She said, huh? I said, yes. And I will carry you and go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She doesn't say, how are we going to do that? But she was in school at that time. She was in school. Yeah, I was in school. So was During that, my that, four that, months that, that, IT. That, 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 time, that time, she was... At that time, you were about entering university. Yes, I was time. about entering, entering university. university that time. So that was how I prepared her international passport. She now went and told her sisters, her aunties, but she didn't tell her parents. Wow. So that was how now... Both of us now travel to Ivory Coast. Coast. Right. So what we? <laughs> that was two thousand. Yes, yeah, that was 2000. yeah two thousand. Yeah, so that was the year two thousand. Yes. And your parents did not look for you. Yes. They were looking for they me looking everywhere. For they went to my parents, <laughs> making it, trouble. Before now, we now called them. She now called them from Ivory Coast, and told the parents that she's safe. She's in good hands. Wow. You know? So, from Ivory Coast, finish the story. When I came back, like, everybody wants to shout, you know, small girl, small age. I just went like that, you know, everybody was quarreling, shouting, talking. Then he now, after a while again, he came again and took me away. <laughs> when I first got my admission now, that was uh, 2002. No, our, our marriage first. Yes, that, 2000. In, in it's that, the that same year. The, yes, the same year, my now, first year in the university was the now, same year we got, got married. married. The same year I had her. The, the second stealing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the second stealing, he went with me to Ivory Coast. Aha, uh -huh, that was how yeah, yeah. I came back with this package. All of them are, all of them are con <laughs> con con The package I came back with. <laughs> He came back with us like so he came, did introduction, saw yeah. my parents, everything. My dad, because I was too young, I was just 18 years. Wow. And how old with were him. you? I think I was 25 years then. You're not crazy getting married at that age? Ah, with the love I started ah. long ago. <laughs> Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You have to join us. It's really sweet. It's interesting. Very interesting. Your, your, your story is really sweet. If the love is there, mm. it's very interesting, I'm wow. telling you. Because then it was just him, him, only, him. Only, was, only two of us. Just two. You and I was the first man she knew. <laughs> You, are, you, you understand? <laughs> I'm, the first, I'm the one that started the work. Oh. Oh. You know, like, I was, I was, I, I, you know, like, 
yeah. I have so many young Africans watching us right now. Okay. Both Africans on the continent, Africans in the diaspora. Okay. Okay. As a young couple, if you should advise some like us, you know, yeah. what would that message be from both of you? Okay. Uh, like uh, uh, marriage, I see marriage as an understanding. I don't see marriage as a tradition. When you marry as a tradition, you end up in mistakes. You know, when you marry because someone else gets married. You know, the real marriage is not the ceremony. It's not how much you spend. It's not what you showcase outside. It's the real the marriage is from the heart. You have to marry from the heart first and just bring outside for people to see that you marry. It is better that you marry from the heart first, first than coming to spend a million dollars in wedding and after two months the marriage will collapse. Mm -hmm. So it goes with understanding. It goes with patience, thoroughly. A lot is involved. You have to sacrifice yourself. You have to, you have to marry your friend. Yes. Don't, don't be that husband and wife. Don't be too serious. Like, I used to tell him, the day I start seeing you as my, like, husband, husband, you understand? That day, the love will start. But now, I see him as a friend. We play. We play. First, yeah. we play. Any day don't play with me, it's a problem. Uh, you have to play Because he you. must notice me every day. <laughs> you, you, you see, every blessed day. He must make me every laugh. Every blessed day, you must. It, it, it is a kind of agreement. There's no day you wake up, you will not make her laugh. Every day I wake up, she must laugh, whether she likes it or not. <laughs> because if you don't give her the happiness, she will look for the happiness outside. Wow. If she also didn't give me the happiness, I will look he for will the happiness outside. He will look for outside. it outside. So marriage is like when you buy a car, mm -hmm. you have to make the car continuously working. Eh? If the car goes flat tire, that is when the woman has offended you. <laughs> you cannot throw away your car because the car has flat tire. You have to repair the tire. That is when you reconcile with the woman. Wow. You understand? If the engine knock, that is when the woman is not talking to you. <laughs> so you have to go and repair the engine to make the car work. So marriage is like one work you concentrate to make it work. If you take it like normal thing, that is where you see broken homes everywhere. And that is what we don't like. And that is why we have come up with this channel, yes. Marvelous Inspiration to Inspire Marriages. You all should check out this channel in the description box. Make sure you like and subscribe. Be part of the family. Go there, go comment that. What Maya forced me to subscribe. You know, on my channel, yeah. I forced them to subscribe. It's oh, not like, all right. oh, please don't. I don't have time for that. It's, it's a must, you know. Yeah. But I just want to let you guys go back to my final question. Yeah. What brought both of you to Ghana? Yes. Uh, let me say it's best in uh, you know, my first daughter, I gave her the name Destiny because of the story associated with my marriage. I gave her that name Destiny. We are destined to be. So whatever you do, if God has destined to be, to be. So our stay in Ghana is Destiny. Ghana is not the first place we have stayed. Neither will it be the last place we will stay. We are still moving somewhere. I believe in getting my children, you know, I'm training them by myself. So I have stayed partly in South Africa, although I didn't stay much in South Africa. Then I've stayed very well in Ivory Coast, like 15 years in Ivory Coast. I can speak French. Je parle français très bien. So, so I Ghana speak, is very peaceful. Yeah, I speak French very well. So, you have to say something before I conclude. Yeah, it's a, concerning why we came to Ghana. Me, yeah, I love Ghana for one thing. It's very peaceful. We, 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 we came here, we came here in 2000 and, uh, we came to Ghana in 2012. 2011. 2011. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So we came to Ghana in 2011 and uh, all the kids are here. And where they, find, here. Where, where, they find, actually, where they find peace, I think I also see peace there. So one thing I love Ghana, uh, Ghana is a peaceful country. I must say that uh, Ghana is a peaceful country. Wow. Yeah, and um, I love uh, I love the democracy in Ghana. Ghana. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. I think they are trying. I really Ghana really is really trying, yes. and I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, oh, come on, you want to say something? Yes. <laughs> you want to tell them something? I'm sorry. You want to tell them something? Yes. Your, your school. Please subscribe. So divine, what do you have to say? Yeah, please go to our channel and subscribe and like and 
yeah check out our channel it's very fun it's inspiring people out there so please subscribe to our channel now For family fun and entertainment what do you want to say please subscribe to our channel <laughs> please 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 if you're not subscribed to our channel please hit that red button and subscribe <laughs> <laughs>